So Twitch just released the new Twitch channel point system, which is Twitch's built-in loyalty point system that rewards viewers the more they watch and interact with your streams. And through this, you can set up a bunch of different rewards to reward the people that are in your streams a lot more often. What's going on guys? I'm Ryan Burst with Right Tech Gaming, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure the Twitch channel points are enabled on your channel and give you 10 unique reward ideas that'll increase interactivity within your Twitch channels. So let's go ahead and just jump right into showing you how to make sure it's enabled. And we can do that by going to twitch.tv, going over into your account, go over to the creator dashboard, go to this top left section where those three bars are, drop down to community, and then click channel points. And right here we have the three options to enable the channel points, customize what you want them to be named and how they look, and then the actual rewards. So go ahead and click the enable button right here. And like I said here, you can change the name of yours. I have mine set to Rycoin. You can set yours to whatever you want and then manage rewards. This is where you go in and edit the different rewards and set up different ones if you have different ones. And these are just the five initial ones that you start with. And if you wanna see what it looks like to go in and edit, these default ones, the only things you can really edit is how much they cost and then the icons to use. They use the same exact sizing as Twitch emotes. And then you can change the background color too. Now, if you did want to add a custom reward, you just click the create a custom reward button, name it whatever you want. New reward, enable new reward. Enter the amount that you want it to be. For this purpose, I'm just gonna stack a bunch of nines so it's impossible to buy. You can add in different custom icons and again, they're the same size as the Twitch emotes. You can change the background color. You can skip reward request queue and you can also limit the redemption per stream. So if you only want one person to grab it per stream, you can go ahead and click that. And then just click the create button and there you go. Now in order to see what they look like, we can just hop on over to our channel, go down into this little chat window and this little logo right here, this purple one, we'll click it, click get started. And here are a few of the ones that we have enabled. You'll probably have a little bit more enabled if you enabled those other two. And this is the new one that we made. I redeemed the new reward for 99999. All right guys, so now that they are enabled, if you do find this video helpful or entertaining at all, make sure to hit a like on the video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. So here are the 10 uh, uh, uh. unique reward ideas in no particular order. Let's go ahead and start with number one, the ability to play with you. So you can set up this first reward to allow people to play certain games with you. And if you're not really comfortable making people pay to play with you, you can set this up so it's more of a priority queue. So if someone pays for this reward, they get moved into like the first place in the queue or in the line. They get this reward and then they get to play with you next game no matter how many other people are waiting. This will reward the people that are in your stream more often, but not exclude the new people that are just coming into your stream. And you definitely want to play with the new people as well as the old people. Reward idea number two is going to be allowing people to unlock certain chat commands that you have set up for your stream through the reward system. So for me, I have it set up to where I have a bunch of different sound files that either I recorded or downloaded that can trigger off certain chat commands. Now with this idea, you just make those chat commands locked behind the little point system. So people have to pay a few points to unlock that and play that whenever they want. A few ideas for this is you can record a few different audio files of if you have a certain catchphrase or something you say more often on stream, either when you lose or when you win, have those as sound files that people can play through a chat command. This will make it a lot more interactive for your viewers as well. Reward idea number three is going to be giving away more private social media accounts. So let's say you have a few accounts that are a little bit more private, but you still want to give them away to people or have the option to give them away. You can use this as a pretty high-end reward. I suggest making these pretty expensive so only the people that are in your streams quite a bit can afford to get these. Definitely don't want to hand these out to just anybody. But you can do things like your Twitter, uh, Snapchat, even your personal phone number, if you're really that brave and you want to give that away to some people, you can use these as ideas. But again, definitely make sure these are kind of expensive rewards if you're going to use these at all. So reward idea number four is going to be allowing people to pick the next game that you are going to play on stream. This definitely works better if you don't just stream one single game all the time. It's going to work better if you are a multi-streamer or if you're just looking to try out different games that your community is going to vibe with and play well with. So you let them pick the next game that you're gonna try out on stream and just kind of see how that goes. Reward idea number five is going to be giveaways. And I know giveaways are gonna be very common with the point system. I'm sure everyone's already got ideas on what they wanna do with this, but you can do this a little different. So let's say you kind of wanna do a giveaway, but you're not really sure what kind of giveaway you wanna do. You can set up this rewards where people can choose the kind of giveaway that they want. So either you can let them choose the prize, how they enter, or really any sort of way that you wanna set this up. You can let them decide what the giveaway is. Another idea for the giveaways is to turn it more into a raffle. 
And this is what I normally do on my streams if I'm doing a giveaway, it's more of a raffle. So the reward will end up being one raffle ticket entry and I let people buy as many as they want. So the more points they earn, the more raffle tickets they can get, the more chances they have to win the giveaway. So it kind of benefits the people that are in there a little more often and gives them more of a chance to win. So reward idea number six is going to be making you say a certain word or phrase with or without voice effects. So for me on stream, I tend to use different voice effects through my mixer and people often request the ones that they really like to hear, the ones they think are funny, and with this reward, you basically allow them to choose what they want you to say and choose what voice effect they want. And if you don't have any voice effects, you can just do it with your regular voice. Just allow them to choose what word or phrase they want you to say. So reward idea number seven is going to be allowing people to choose the names of either characters or towns. Now this one is gonna definitely depend on the kind of game you're playing. RPGs or simulator games, town builders, those are gonna be a little bit easier for this reward because you'll actually have things to name. Things like characters, Pokemon nicknames, towns, roads, buildings, whatever the case is. So this reward, you just allow people to choose the names of certain things in the game. So reward idea number eight is gonna be making custom postcards and mailing them out to the viewer. So this definitely works better if you're an art streamer or at least if you're good at art. Part of the charm could be your bad art that you mail out to people if you're not really that good. Or you could change this up to mailing out your own gear and apparel so if you have t-shirts made you can send this out rather than art but if you're an art streamer i would definitely suggest making small little custom portraits or whatever it is that you draw and send that out to people people love receiving stuff in the mail this is a great idea so idea number nine is going to be allowing people to give you a challenge to play on the next game or the next round something like no headphones or pistols only and this idea can get as far as you want it to go it really depends on the creativity of the people making up the challenge it's a really fun one too, it can make for some interesting streams. So this is definitely one you're gonna to wanna to implement. Reward idea number 10 is going to be a spin on a wheel that you make with random rewards on it. So imagine that you have a small little like Wheel of Fortune wheel or a wheel that you made. When someone gets this reward, you spin this once, whenever it lands on, that's the reward that they get. And you can populate this with both good and bad rewards. So some bad ones you can do is like a timeout for 10 seconds, no reward at all, or losing points. Good rewards you can populate with any of the ones we mentioned before or even new ones that you want to add to the wheel itself. All right guys, so that's going to be all 10 rewards and a few honorable mentions that didn't make it to the list are you can do a reward that makes you do a dance on stream, one where you can request a song to play on stream, another one where you can 1v1 someone in whatever game they choose, and another one where you can give away mod or VIP for a day. And I'm kind of curious, which of these are you more likely to use in your streams? Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you are gonna come up with your own rewards, what you wanna think about is increasing interactivity. So a lot of these rewards here are gonna allow people to interact more with the stream. And the more people feel that they can actually influence the stream, the more people are gonna to wanna to be involved in it and more people will interact with you. So it's gonna be kind of a win-win. You get better content and more people are gonna to wanna to interact with things that they feel like they can actually influence or change on the stream. Also guys, if you like this video, hit a like. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and then relevant content here for Twitch, and then down here are gonna be more tech videos.